Hello and welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are going to do something different. We will be looking at a planet. And as some of you are aware, you can use your guide scope as a imaging camera, especially looking at the planets. I currently have a newish one on the market, which is the SV Boney 905C. You can see that? Probably not. I don't know. Get a lot of glare. This, I personally think, is a very good imaging camera. It's not the best. It's probably not the cheapest. It's definitely not the best. But it's perfect. So, I'll be using this combined with a new item I've recently just picked up, which is the SV Boney 5x Barlow lens. Full metal construction. And it's very clear. Looking through it, it's very clear. I have quickly tried it and I'm going to say I'm very impressed. So, we shall give this a go and see how it goes. So to start with this, we need to remove the camera. So there's the Canon 500D. Remove this, the guy scope, so this SV Boney 905. See, that's going to go straight in. Get the bit about centre. And then on this cable, this is a USB Type C, straight in. And that is it. Let's go to the computer and get it on. So, as you can see, just put you in front of the computer, going to start up Sharp Cap. That's the program you're going to need. So, we're now on the computer, we've started up Shark Cap, and we just need to select the camera. Here it is, SV Boney 905C. As you can see, the do heat is now removed, the camera's running. The do heat is on because it doesn't lock it, but it's currently 3 degrees, so it's a bit cold. Cup of tea, being British. And I'm going to start the star alignment, but with SV Boney guide camera instead of the traditional. For anyone interested, I use an app called Sky Portal. I'll give you a little bit of a see. Not bit special, basically. Well, I would say special, but the compass button is brilliant. See so if you can never find a target. You're looking for you just go to the search search it in and an arrow will appear on the screen telling you which direction where it is brilliant if you struggle with star alignments just in general if you can see possibly not see there's the moon and right next to it is jupiter see now it's up and it's very clear night why not so so with the hand controller we just want to select the planet so we'll go to object list, solar system, and look for the planet you are looking for. There's Jupiter, select, 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 you target, and that's it. Now it should go. So, the camera is currently on auto focus as such, which is about here just to get to the rough bore part of where we're looking for. And there is a rough view. So, if I change some settings and take this off auto, I'm gonna bring down the exposure There we go. And we'll bring down the gain. Them little dots, they are the moons. I do not know what my mount is doing, but I will check that. So, there's the bollard ends, the thingy. I've encountered a slight problem at this cable. What I've had custom made 
is too short. So, I'm about to pull the extension out. So, I've adjusted the frame size to 480 by 480, which is just at the top, so you don't want to record too much. You can adjust the screen in this red box, you just grab that, drag it around to it's centered. And then, once that's done, you would go to capture up there, the drop down menu, select whatever target you're looking at, the amount of frames that you want, press start, and it will automatically take a video, which mine has just completed. And that is that. Just for fun, we'll try the moon. So, we'll try it without the Barlow lens to begin with. So, take this off. There's the Barlow lens. We should put it there. Let's get the camera back in. We're already on the moon. Just need to get focus. Right. And if you can see on the screen, it's very bright. So we're going to turn the exposure right down to there. There we go. I've got the exposure turned all the way down, so that is just the telescope with that camera. Uh, so I've got a decent amount of gain. Um, we're looking at. So 130 gain. Colour is all over the place. I don't know what's going off there. There we go. There we go. And we'll turn down the exposure. And there's the moon. Capture. Uh, so where have we got moon? 3000, that'll do. And again. Like before, we've done the capture, it's in the bottom corner there, so it will say frames, 200 over out uh, of 3000, once it's finished it will automatically shut itself off. Then we'll try the Barlow lens. So, that was the standard telescope, now we should try the Barlow lens. On the moon, yeah, just a little bit close. straight on, slide that in, and zoom out, and there we go. That is the picture from the Barlow lens. Try and turn these down a little bit. I think that is as good as I'm gonna get it. Let's try a different spot. And there we go, but there it is, the moon with a five times Barlow lens. Now you want to open up Auto Stacker on your computer, select the file you're looking for. Just underneath the open button you will see two options for surface and planet. Select whatever you're doing. You want to select Analyze. Once analyzing is done, you will then end up with another option on the screen on the right, where you will see 
replace grid. Place the grid, once that's done, then on the right side of the left window, you will see stack options. In the input, you should have 50 already, and possibly 25, but add 25. If you add any more than that, warning, it will take longer to process the image. Once that's then done, you can press press stack image or stack and it will then start to convert the video into a actual image file. After that is complete, you can then open up another program called Registax. What you can then do is fine tweak the image you have to get it just how you want, just by moving the sliders on the middle left side of the window once done save and continue